Hey everyone, it's Nicole. Welcome back to my channel, Relax Cut Glue. If you're new here, welcome. I'm so happy to have you all here with me today. So today I'm gonna to show you how to make a paper ornament. This one, I just grabbed some Christmas ads out of a catalog and I made it out of magazine. So very simple, very easy to do. And let me move these papers so you can really see here. And you can do fun things like, let's see here. I think these might fit. You could add, leave it as is, or you could add like some die cuts over the top with a word or whatever you want to add, you can make it your own. So I also made one just to refresh my memory out of scrap paper that I have in my scrapbook bin. Now I will say it is easier in a way to use thinner paper such as magazine. Um, when you're folding it, but putting it together, it can be kind of hard because it's a little flimsy, but it's definitely doable. Obviously, this is origami, so it, you should be using thinner paper. So I would not use cardstock, but this is just scrapbook paper. And I, oh, so for this, because it was magazine, on the back pages, I just went in under these little strips here and added a little dot of glue to keep it in place. This is in place just by the paper holding itself together. I did not add any glue to keep it together. You certainly could when you were all done, especially if you're gonna give it as a gift, but I did not and it just completely stays together. So I thought I would try it with a piece of magazine, or I'm sorry, music sheet, scrapbook paper, and then this was a paper that was in a cut and collage book by Bridget. So what you need is eight pieces of paper and they need to be four inch by four inch squares. Now this one will be easy because it's an eight inch by eight inch piece of paper. So basically I just need to cut it in half and then cut it in half again and we'll be good to go. So let's cut this into four inch squares like so. Let's just make sure this is four inches just to be safe. Totally is, we're good to go there and four so i'm gonna have half of my image a half of my this because there's eight little pieces half of them are going to be of these i'm going to do two of this one and two of the music sheet because this isn't it's just shy of being big enough to have two four piece inch pieces i was trying to say that this paper is only big enough to make two four inch squares not four four inch squares so I'm only going to get two out of this. Obviously, I'll save this to collage with. And then let's cut this into four. And four. Okay, now I have my pieces. Like so. So here's what you need to do next. Next, you need to fold your pieces. So you're going to fold them in half like so, super easy, right? Open it up. I like to open it up all the way because I find it easier to fold. Then you're gonna take this and bring it to that middle crease and fold it, like so. Now, I like to open this again because it just makes it easier for me to see this middle crease here. And you're gonna do the same thing. Take your time, make sure things are lined up so it's gonna look like this. And then you fold it over like so. I like to use my bone folder here and just really give this a nice crease so it's nice and flat. And we will set that aside for now and repeat for all of the rest. So I'll show you one more time and then I will go and do the rest of this off camera because it's kind of tedious. So we will fold it in half, open it up, take one end and bring it to that middle crease, fold that, Take the other side, fold it into that middle crease, not going over, like so, and then you fold them together, and then just give it a press. Oops, this one I didn't fold. There we go. Just wanna make sure that when I press it, I'm pressing it evenly. There we go, okay, okay. So let me go finish folding these and then I'll show you the next step of folding that we need to do. This is very simple if you follow these really easy steps. So I'll be right back. 
Okay, I decided I would show you, I got all these folded, but I decided I would show you one more time on this paper because it's white on the other side, so that might be a little bit easier for some of you to see. So you fold it in half, open it up. Now you have this middle crease right here, so you're gonna take this and fold it up to that middle crease, but not over it. I like to turn my paper around because it's just easier for me to fold. And then do the same thing on the other piece fold this in and fold it over. So we just open this up like a little accordion almost, if you will, fold it in, fold it again, and give it a crease. Okay, so the next step that we're going to do is the piece that's, that opens, so this is the side that opens, this side does not open. So the side that opens, you're gonna, I kind of keep it to my right, it's easier for me to remember. So then you take this corner, and I kind of use my fingernail to kind of hold down that little corner piece. You're gonna want to fold that over into a little point, and you're going to do the same thing on this side. So you fold that over to a point. So see, that's the open side right here. This is the side that's folded. Okay, and then fold this in half. This is the last folding piece you will have to do. You have to do this for all of them. So that's what you do, so set that aside. Let's do this again. So this is my open side. This is my folded side. So I'm gonna take the open side and fold it down to a little corner, like so. And then do the same thing on the other side. Like so. And this is the part where you can start to tell if you have thicker paper, it's a little bit harder, but this is just regular scrapbook paper and it's working just fine. And then fold that in half. Open side to my right. You can do it however you want. That's just what helps me remember. And then fold this side down like so. So you have this. And then you just fold those to connect, and give that a nice crease. Okay. okay, last one, open side to the right. Fold that down to a point. Fold this one. I like to just kind of keep my finger there on that point so I can get it. And then fold this in half. Perfect. Okay, so here's the part I'm going to put because I'm using different. Obviously, if I was just using like these two, I would do every other. But I have to do this, and then this, 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 this. Okay, so I have all of mine in order. So this is how you start. Okay. <laughs> it's very easy. It's just kind of finicky when you're showing somebody. Okay, so here's that piece, right? And remember, the open piece is at the top. So you don't want to put your papers in this open spot, but you'll open this little crease here and there's only three creases. So you'll open this one, there's the middle, we don't want that, and then you have the fold over here, right? So when I was doing this, I was kind of putting my metal ruler in here or you could use a pen or something to just kind of open up those slots just a little bit. You just need them open just a wee bit. Can you see those? Okay, so I take my next piece, they're both kind of facing the same direction, it's the point going this way, and I'm going to take my point and I'm going to put them in those little slots right there. Does that make sense? See those? So I just push it in there. And don't worry about making it all perfect right now. Once all the pieces are together, then you can kind of form it into how you want it to be. Okay, so there's that. So now I take my next piece, and these are folded because we creased it really good. So I'm just gonna kind of open that up just a little bit so I can get the tip of my paper in there. Okay. Take the two pieces and you're just going to, let me see if I can get a little bit closer here. You put that piece in that one and this piece into that. Oops, see, sometimes I, one will slide out. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. It can be a little finicky. Hold on, I can't get. <laughs> course because I'm on camera. I need to open this side up a little bit. There we go. Get in there. Why are you being so finicky? There we go. Okay, slide that one in. 
got it in there, push it down, okay, rotate. Next, I'm going to open these just a little bit. Just makes it easier for that tip of your paper to get in there. Take the tip of the paper and slide it into the two little slots. Rotate. Ooh, I probably, well, it doesn't matter. We'll wait till the end. Okay, and now this piece, I'm just gonna open this up just a wee bit again. Like so. Take your paper, put it into those little points or put the points into the little opening slots there. We got that. Now I kind of open it just a little bit. If your papers fall out, it's fine. You can put them right back in. It's very easy. Now, after you do this the first time, you're gonna have it down and you'll be able to make many of them very fast. It's just kind of doing it with your own hands and kind of seeing how it works on your own. Um, if it takes you a couple tries to get it, don't worry about it, you'll get it, I promise. So I'm just gonna continue going around get that piece open open up you okay get in there it's not hard by any means it's just you know can be a little finicky why can't I'm a little shaky right now I apologize okay here we go okay all right two more to go we're almost there so see how it's kind of closing up into our shape I'm just gonna kind of open this just a little bit, just enough to where it's easier for me to, to get in here. Like this one right here, it's kind of getting on my nerves. It gets a little tight once you get tight of space, once you get towards the end. Okay, second to last one, going in, coming in hot. Let me open this little slotty poo. Get in there. Oops, I just put it in and then I yanked it back out. There we go, okay. All right, last piece. This is the one that I kind of found the most annoying to do, but it might not be for you. It might just be a me thing, but okay. So let's just kind of open this up just a little bit. And then we'll put this point in. Okay, and then you take this one and you guessed it, you're gonna put it in. Let's see if I can't just get the points in there without having to open this up. Ah! This is a part that, oops, this one's starting to fall out. Push that back in. I need something besides this metal ruler to pull these apart, like, I don't know what. <laughs> okay, there we go, easy peasy, now I got it. There we go, so then you slide it in. Okay, so now you have them all in there. So now kind of hold it in your hand gently and just kind of kind of hold it together and push in while you're holding the other side and just kind of push it in until you like how it looks. I'm kind of going by the octagon in the middle. I kind of want to, you know, I want to make sure that shape is right because then I know that my pages are kind of even and stuff. So let's see, something over here. Okay, so there you have it. There is your ornament. Now you can do either side. I think I like this side better than this side, but it doesn't matter. Um, you can keep them, you know, they can go either way or you can make it so this is your focal and this is the front. Okay, so this is gonna be my front. I'll show you what I did with my magazine one just to kind of hold everything in place, especially if you're gonna keep this for a long time. So it definitely stays together, but just to be sure, I'm gonna go in and kind of just lift this up and stick a little dot of glue right in there. Just a, a wee little drop. Am I even getting glue in there? Very gently, because I don't want to shift my papers. Gently. You can use school glue for this, art glitter glue, any kind of glue you have. 
I really like my art glitter glue because I have this fine tip and it makes it really easy to uh, get it in there. So now that we have all that, I think I want to add like a little something on it. And at first I thought I would add one of these chipboard pieces. Is this a sticker? No, it's a little tag. And I thought maybe I could add it on here. I could even put it in the middle. I don't really think I like that. And then I thought, what if I grabbed one of my Tim Holtz words and then what if I grabbed one of my Tim Holtz words and then put like a sentiment on this cardstock so I could put um, peace on earth. I think I'll do peace on earth. Okay. So I'm just going to stick that on there and then let's cut it. So I want to leave a good size border here. Just going to freehand it. I'm putting it on cardstock because I want it to be a little bit more substantial and, you know, stay on the paper ornament. But you could use, um, I was even thinking about doing some of these and taking some of the images from the cut and collage books and then putting them on cardstock. Um, let's see here. I need to cut a little bit off like that. And then I was thinking I would do like a, a little kind of flaggy thing at the bottom here, whatever you call these. like that. Now I could just keep it on one side. No, I kind of like doing it on both sides. Let's do it on both. The Shermanator squirmed his way in here right when I was getting ready to film, so he's in here snoring. Okay. Boop. All right, let's move all that aside. And then I was thinking I would just glue it. Actually, where? Do, which one do I want to be my top? I think I'll go this way. <gasps> that looks so good. Okay, let's glue it. I'm just going to go in with my art glitter glue because it's my favorite. Okay, so I'm just going to add glue on the two ends here because those are really the only thing that's touching the paper. Do I need to add a little bit more? Maybe I need to go a little bit further. There we go. Okay. So I'll go across like so. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. It's not directly in the middle, but I'm okay with that. I kind of did that um, on purpose. Okay. Sure. Let's just kind of glue those down. And so now I just need to put a little hole up here. So let me grab my hole punch. Okay, so I want my hole <laughs> to be right in the middle here. Is that good? I don't know. Going for it. Oh, that's not bad. Perfect. Okay. And now I'm going to take some string and you can find all kinds of string at the Dollar Tree. You could even use um, Christmas books that you find at the Dollar Tree to make these ornaments. Oh my gosh, that would be super cute. You can use um, when you're making like junk journals or glue books and you gut a book, you can use the pages in that to make these. You could use newspaper, comic books, you name it, you can use it. Okay, so I'm just gonna put this through one end. This is just how I prefer to do it. You can do it any way you want, obvi. And then I just pull it through like that. I always like to give this a nice little fresh trim. Okay, and here is your ornament. 
How cute is that, you guys? So simple, so easy, super substantial. Like, you'd be surprised. This thing feels um, a lot more um, secure than you would guess. Um, again, you don't have to add the glue. I, I do suggest it, especially if you're going to give it as a gift. But how incredibly beautiful is this? So go break out. Go into your recycle bin. Uh, you know what? You could even do this with like recycled paper and then paint it if you wanted. Uh, this would be really fun for kids to make for a teacher gift. So you can just go crazy with it. All right, everyone, that is gonna conclude today's video. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch my video. I really appreciate it. If you wouldn't mind, please hit that like button. It's a great way to support me and my channel. Don't forget to subscribe. I would absolutely love it if you stuck around. Make sure you drink your water and have a fabulous week, my friends. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.